Hello, everyone, and welcome to our 2022 wrap up for the Hallucinations event. This is the third year that we've hosted this worldwide virtual challenge that is aligned with the Havelina 100. So we just wrapped up. Today is November 2nd, and we had a 31 day challenge through the month of October. And today we're joined by Hallucinations Director Robert Lopez. If you came to Havelina, you've also seen him. He was out there guiding all of you through the headquarters lot. And he, of course, is super active on our Facebook page. And he's taken the reins of our virtual experience for Aravipa here. And we are working on a rebrand, as many of you know who have participated. We're calling it Aravipa Worldwide. And to us, it is a way to connect with our global community. We are excited to continue these virtual challenges, keep you guys motivated, and stay connected wherever you're from. So we're going to bring Robert in right now. Robert, how you doing? Are you feeling recovered from the craziness this weekend? Well, that's, that's kind of a funny thing because everybody, I was actually supposed to run the race. So I was going to be in the 100 miler. Instead, I worked the race and I wound up getting 93 miles. So all of my friends are telling me I, I DNF. Maybe I can do better next year. But yeah, I'm, I'm so close. I'm doing good. Um, so I'm close to that cool. buckle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't know if you get a buckle for what I did, but maybe next year we'll do that. Maybe. Uh, well, I hope to see you on the starting line of the 100 miler next year. Well, you'll see me at cold water. So cold water. All right. That, I'm going to come back and we'll see what I can do there. Uh, I just want everybody to, you know, welcome to what we're trying to do with Aravipal Worldwide. Uh, the rebrand to me started because the word virtual. I want everybody to understand that nothing that we do is virtual. Everybody who worked through hallucinations, even for the fun challenges, every day you were going out and you were doing your miles. Those are hard miles. So regardless of how you did it, whether you walked, crawled, ran, it's all hard and thank you for staying with us uh watching all my posts on facebook reading all my words because i do write a lot of words and you know it's, it's important to me that, that we come together and so we're going to do this recap i want you guys to stick around after that because we got lots more coming so with that let me give it back to jamil jamil's gonna start off with uh, some of the recap of what we did this last month Sure. Yeah, we definitely want to recognize everyone. And so we'll start with a few high level stats. So we had 375 folks sign up for the hallucinations this year in 2022. And we had overwhelm overwhelmingly women. So we had 250, uh, 124 uh, men who joined and also one non-binary runner. So it is a an awesome mix of folks. We had 39 states represented plus Puerto Rico and Guam and nine countries beyond the United States with the most being from Canada, our neighbors to the north, and then seven from Australia. So it truly is a, a worldwide community that we're part of. We saw this when we first launched Aravipa Strong back in 2020. So thank you all for coming back and joining us. We were having a lot of fun with these. And how many people actually submitted some mileage? So we had 316 that recorded results. Uh, and we had a range of from one mile all the way up to 536 miles for one month. Our youngest participant is 10 years old, and their name is just the letter E from Germany. So shout out to E out there, getting those 10 miles in. And our oldest participant is 77, Holly Ling from Colorado. And Robert makes a note here that she claimed 218 miles, but that might have been a mistake. So we're not sure on that one. Uh, and now I'm going to throw it back to Robert to go ahead and dive into our top five. So we heard that top mileage, but we want to learn a little bit more about these folks. Yeah, I will do that. I will say for you, Holly, if you got 218 miles, congratulations. That's amazing. Uh, if anything is off, it might have been off by maybe 30. So it looks like you were still getting close to 200, even if that was a mistake. So amazing. 77 years old. Hands up to you. So our top five, let's talk about that. So my friend Brian Enstrom from New Jersey, he's the guy that got 536 miles. Anybody that got more than 500 miles, well, if you think about Havelina being basically a wild pig, 
and our goal was to get 100 miles. If you got 500 miles, I said you got five pigs. So that's pin to pig. And Brian was the only one that was able to get that level. But congratulations to you. That is amazing. Uh, after that, we had the couple, the Fosdall Griffins. And guys, if Fosdall is not how I'm supposed to pronounce that, I apologize. We're doing the best we can. But it looks like Lisa Marie beat out Renee by two miles. So Lisa Marie is number two with 485 miles. And Renee got 483 miles. I will say what's fun about Lisa Marie and Renee is they both did an event at the first of the month where they grabbed 140 miles right away. So for a while, they were our leaders and it wasn't even close. And then everybody kind of creeped up on them. And then at the very end, they were a couple who were at Havelina with me. So they got 100 miles at the very end of the month. And that's just amazing stuff. Right after them is another friend of mine, Cindy Merton from Oregon. Hi, Cindy. I know you in person. Cindy got 456 miles. And then after Cindy is Izzy Nielsen. I hope Izzy might be Izzy. I think so. From Texas with 420 miles. Uh, quick note, quick shout out to Cindy. Cindy's 66 years old. Came in fourth in our event with 456 miles. When we look at all of the other results down through, the first thing I want to note is how many of you actually got to 100. Because 100 was our big goal. It was the buckle goal. It was the little mileage counter, the thing you were counting against. And out of our 317 or 375 people, it looks like 216 of you got up to 100 miles. And that is, that's great. And it looks like a lot of you eked out that at the very last minute because a lot of you got to 100 or 100.1 and boom, there you are. So that is the vast majority of our participants that actually were recording miles at all. 68% of you got to 100 so shout out to all of you that is great now of those 41 doubled up and got what i call double pig because you made it to 200. i was one of the double pigs so hi that's wow 200 miles in a month that is a lot for most of us so you really put in the work some of you got to three little pigs i think you know what that means that's 300 miles it looks like we had 13 of you get to three little pigs so 13 of you were able to put in a good training month with 300 miles Five of you got four pigs or quad pig, and that was the top five that we've just mentioned, plus one more because that top person, that was Brian, and Brian got pin a pig. Only one person was able to get there. Now, I will say that when you went and looked at the badges that you could earn throughout this event, there are badges out there for 600 and 700 miles. That's a lot of miles. Next year, when we do hallucinations again, I promise you I'm going to throw out a couple of goals in between 100 and 200 so that we can have a couple more cool badges that all of us can get. Uh, I don't know if we'll have a 700 mile badge again, but put that out there. I'd like to see more of you at least do 500. That's pretty cool. I had a couple of other kind of uh, contests going on the side. We will talk about the actual Misfit games here in a second, but I also had a couple of side bets based on Vert. So I'd like to call out my friend, Julie. I think her name is Julie Hewitt. I asked her on Facebook how to pronounce it correctly, and I think I did that right. Julie Hewitt's from Utah. Julie was able to get 399.85 miles. So, wow, 0.15, and you too could have had four pigs, but 399.85, that is significant. But extra to that, she also was able to pull in 31,170 feet of climbing, which puts her up in the stratosphere. So that's a lot of miles and a lot of climbing. When I just look at the climbing itself, we had a couple of people do pretty amazing. Uh, Bryce Brooks, which is a name familiar to those of us who work at Era Viper. Bryce was the unofficial vert champion. He got 43,658 feet this month. Cool. <laughs> In second place, a gal I was tracking all year, or all month, Kate Jacobson from Washington. She lives in Issaquah. I used to live in Issaquah. That's why it's cool. She closed out with 42,087 feet. She also got 319 miles. She was, she's another one of those combo folks who did just amazingly well. Had a couple other big numbers out there too, but these are the folks that I could go into Strava and actually confirm. There are a couple other numbers out there that I'm not sure about, but congratulations to all of you. You did really, really well. Now, when we think about other countries, let's talk about Australia first, because we managed to get seven people from Australia participate in this. Thank you. That's great. And so because I had enough of you, I've been tracking you all along. You've been going for something called zombie wombat because wombat 
Wombat's Like a Little Pig. Uh, the Zombie Wombat Award is something that for the most of the month looked like it was going to a gal named Deb Maloney. And then at the last minute, Trish James, yeah, Trish James pulled out the little win. Both of you were over 100 miles. So congratulations. Uh, miles are bigger in Australia anyway, as far as I can tell. Canada had nine folks. From Canada, Kendra Olson won what I'm calling Canadian bacon. I'm pretty sure people from Canada hate that term. I should probably come up with a better term. Anyway, Canadian Are these bacon. awards for the co country winners yeah. with the most miles? Yeah, Canadian bacon. Now we got to ship them Canadian bacon, Jamil. I hope you don't mind. Let's uh, do it. Kendra got 240 miles and also 29,424 feet of climbing. So she almost made it to Everest or did. Yeah. Anyway, very close. That is so much you were able to get done in a month. All of these folks, that's a lot. But those are the folks that I pulled out. And we had 300 and what, 316 people recording results. All of you did just amazing amounts of work. You know how many people beat me? 26. Yeah. So 26 of you were able to beat me. It wasn't really that hard, but thank you. Thank you for trying. Uh, and I will say, again, the Fosdall Griffins, when I was looking at people who put up big numbers in one day, they had a 140-mile day and they had a 100-mile day. That's not going to beat that. So, wow. And you both did it hand in hand. So that's pretty cool. Uh, with that, Jamil, why don't I toss it back to you for the Misfit Games? Why don't you tell us about the winners of each of those? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we had six different Misfit Games throughout the week uh, participating in those. And so the very first one, this was the Goo Havelina Hot Start. Uh, that went to Brian Enstrom of New Jersey, uh, win I believe winning a Goo Energy Pack. And our, did you have anything else to say on that one, Robert? No, except for you Brian want me to just... also our overall winner. So he managed to double up on this one. Nice. Uh, our second one, the Gooder Summit Challenge, went to Sarah Rothwell of British Columbia. So we had a, a Canadian winner for that one. So we've got an awesome Gooder sunglass pack headed your way, or it might already be to you at this point. Uh, for number three, our Rabbit Rabbit Repeats. Uh, this was Rich Wilson of California. You want to talk about that one at all, Robert? Yeah, I will a little bit because that was one, you know, we're doing our best as we put this back together to deliver you just the top experience we can. We had a little bit of an oops on this challenge. So um, I believe that we will be sending something out to the top two or three. So I'm going to put a post in Facebook and I will recognize all three of you because I want to make sure that, that you all get the recognition you deserve for what you did on this one. Awesome. Our Hoka Havelina Hero went to Sarah Webster of Alaska. Now that one, I just want to say, I, I read through all of these stories. This is one of those categories where it is impossible to pick something like a best story. So we kind of had to take the top five or six stories and, and sort of randomly choose. But you guys submitted some really inspiring stuff. That's exactly what I like to see because that shows that we're all together. So over time, I'm going to share some of these stories. So that's another reason to hang out in the Facebook group because we'll get to see some stuff that maybe you didn't see during this challenge. Awesome. And next up, we have our number five Misfit game, the Koros GPS Art Challenge. And this went to Aaron Bill Mayer of South Carolina. And from what I'm looking over here, this is over on Sullivan's Island. In a 4.88 mile run, it looks like Erin spelled misfits on yep. her run in her neighborhood. And put a how hard after it because she loves misfits. So, you know, that, that counts for a lot. Uh, you guys were going up against stiff competition because I started this category back during Aravipa Strong in 2020. I wrote out Rolo loves Aravipa. So, you know, you, you kind of suck up a little bit. Here we have misfits. We love misfits. So kind of called that one out, but it was the best art that I saw. So we did that. Nice. And then our final one, this is the Showtime Aravipa Golden Ticket to JJ in 2023. This is Jamie Chung, California. Can you tell us about this one? I can. So I had several really good entrants. We had a werewolf, which here in Havelina terms, it was really a, a were coyote. 
And we had a gal, her name's Dr. Elaine. She, I actually know her in, in person from Texas, who did a very wonderful super person who was going back and forth, put some video effort into it. And that was looking really good. And then along came uh, Jamie. Jamie decided to be Laz. And not only Laz once, but we have three or four different pictures of her being Laz, including being good Laz and being bad Laz when you didn't <laughs> make the end of the loop. And she had license plates. She had the whole thing going, Jamil. You, you would be the proud. The map and the book you. pages. Uh, yeah, the runner must have missed a page and very displeased. Yes. So you really couldn't beat that. So congratulations to everybody that submitted something. It was all fun. Really couldn't beat Laz. So congratulations to you, Jamie. Awesome. So that, that kind of wraps it up for our Misfit Games winners for this year. Yeah. I would like to point out to everybody, thank you for joining us. Our participation against last year, up over 70%. So there's so many more people out there now. I want to keep growing all of these events. I want you guys to hang out with me and have a little bit of fun. I, th I think Jamil will pop in from time to time too. So that was it was a great experience. And I hope all of you had as much fun as I did just watching you because we want to come together to do this. So with that, you know, I encourage you to continue sending me more stories, stories about hallucinations or just inspiring stories like another Havelina hero type experience and stuff that you send me. I'll make sure that it gets out to everybody. The best two ways that you can contact me if you are a Facebooker, go ahead and just DM me in Facebook. But I know a lot of you are not. I'll tell you, you're missing a little bit of the experience, but we will be doing more and more for you here in YouTube and other places through email, if you like. That, that we can get back to you. And email is another way that you can find me. Just contact Robert at eraviperrunning.com and let me know what's up. And let's just have a good talk about that. Uh, our next event, let's talk about that really quickly. Our next event is gonna start on December 1st. It's a different kind of challenge. This is not gonna be something where you're going for miles. It's something where you're gonna be going for up, for vert, for gain. You're gonna be doing some climbing. So we call that Mary Vertmus goes from December 1st through December 25th. Gain as much vert as you can. We will have different ram deer. That's a ram with, you know, you get what's going on there. Ram deer challenges, which are very much like misfit challenges, but kind of Christmassy. So we will be doing several challenges through that. We're still working on what all of uh, that's going to entail. There are two ways that you can participate. You can either do this real time if you are out in the mountains or somewhere where you can go climbing outside, please do that. And if you're going to, enter the category called vert is real. If you're like me, I don't actually happen to live in a place with climbing, but I do happen to live in a place with treadmills, parking garages, stairs, and other things that I'm gonna climb. So I'm gonna be entering the virtual vert category. And we're gonna have a lot of fun. We have different badges and different levels. The buckle level for this is Mount Everest. So if you can get 29,032 feet, in 25 days, yeah, 25 days, then you buckled. So we will be talking more about that. I'll be telling you a lot more about that as we go. And then the challenge after that, I think most of you, or if you're not, I hope you become familiar with our live event called Across the Years. You can come to Arizona and run around some baseball diamonds for anywhere from a marathon for a day or two days or three days up to six days and it's a different kind of event too and so for those of us that can't be there we're going to do an online worldwide challenge called across the years around the world so you will have six days to basically pull up as much mileage as you can and we'll do some cool uh, side events side bets against that so i'll have much more coming about that in the next few days so stick around hang out with us and let's have some fun together. Thanks for that uh, preview, Robert. I am, I'm personally really excited for Mary Vertmus. I'm gonna be going for some of those higher badges, hopefully in, in my training as I kick off for some goals next year. And super excited about across the years around the world, something that we have always wanted to do, but haven't been able to offer. So uh, with Robert's assistance, we're able to, to add that to the mix this year. And, and we do hope to do some, some kind of cross pollination between the in-person event and the Aeroviper Worldwide event 
with folks from all over the place. We hope to share uh, your stories as you join us in welcoming in 2023, kicking it off right. Yep. And if my planets align right and the weather is good for me to get out of here, I will actually be at Live Across the Years. So I hope to be able to integrate those two things for you real time. And yeah. Awesome. Cool. That'll be great. Uh, is there anything else that you want to add in, Robert, before we close down this uh, hallucinations recap for this year? Just thank you, everybody, for spending your 31 days with me. I hope that this experience this year was a little bit more hands on than the experience last year. And that's what I want to offer to you, all of you in all of these events going forward. So if you had fun, find a friend, find two friends, find some family. Let's get some other people involved with this, because the more people we have in the community, the more fun the community is. And it's less of me just talking to you because I want you guys talking to me. Awesome. So yeah, definitely check out the Era Viper Worldwide Facebook group. We also are on Strava now. So if you want to, even though we're in between challenges at the moment, you can kind of stay. Uh, I mean, even the Facebook group, it's still open. It's open to everyone. So jump in there, uh, continue to share your training. We've got you know, less than a month before Mary Vertmus kicks off. That'll be December 1st through the 25th. And then across the years around the world, we'll start I believe December 20, is it the 28th, 28th, yeah. I believe. And yeah. that'll go through January 3rd. So we have a couple options. So I think that is about it for this update. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye.